Thanks for clicking on this video. I'll get straight to the point. What this project and series of videos is going to be about is I'm going to be using a combination of chat GPT and bubble.io to create a web application. I'll be using chat GPT to help guide and build the web application from early stages to releasing it into the wild and assigning it to a URL. Chat GPT doesn't roll off the tongue very well, so I'm going to be referring to Chat GPT as Chat Daddy. Hopefully that appeals to a younger demographic. This video we're going to be interacting with Chat Daddy quite a lot, so please stick around for that. We're also going to be asking Chat Daddy what web application we're going to be building, which I'm very excited to see what he says and what he suggests, because that really is going to pave the way to how this series of videos is going to go and what we're going to be building. But first off, I'm going to be asking Chat Daddy what to name my YouTube channel, and then we'll get into what sort of project we're building. Okay, the first thing we want to do is ask Chat Daddy to give us a catchy YouTube name that isn't taken. <laughs> right, so quite a spread that we've got here. Spark Vault, Fizz Frenzy, Blaze Bite, Rapid Rise, Turbo Talk, Swift Streams, Hyper Hive. Chat Daddy Shaw sure has given us a lot to work with. So from this list, I'm going to go through my favorite ones and make sure that they're not already taken on YouTube. And then from there, that'll be our new channel name. Okay, so after a quick bit of research, Bright Vibes, unfortunately, taken. Shout out to Bright Vibes at Bright Vibes on YouTube with 1.8 million views. So that name obviously taken as well as the handle. Our next suggestion from Chat Daddy, Spark Vault. This is us. Spark Vault not taken. Channel created today. No content, no subscribers. This is where we're going to be putting all of our videos. Okay, I did a quick bit of creative work and I've got what every good YouTube channel needs. Bad profile picture, even worse header, zero subscribers. So we're ready to go. Okay, so we have our YouTube channel set up and now is probably the most exciting part of the video where I'm going to be asking Chat Daddy what sort of application we're going to be making. And the response that Chat Daddy gives us is pretty much going to be the emphasis of this entire project. So I'm excited and worried to see what he comes up with, but whatever he says is what we're going to be building. So I'll give him a list of outlines and we'll see what he comes up with. Okay, so we've given Chat Daddy some criteria and he's given us an application idea that would connect organizations and volunteers. It also include event listings, messaging system, tracking and reporting volunteer hours. So the first question that I have for Chat Daddy is does something like this exist already? Okay, so something like this does exist already, according to Chat Daddy, but he's really twisting our arm by saying that our application could be unique by adding unique features and improving the UX. He signs off by saying the most important thing to understand is the market, and I don't understand the volunteer market very well. What I might ask Chat Daddy is if there is a demand for this service. Okay, so Chat Daddy said again that competition may be high, which, which I'm okay with. He's also said that market research will validate the demand to understand the needs and pain points of your target audience. I'm not in a great position to do a whole lot of market research on volunteer organizations, mainly because I don't understand the industry. I actually don't mind the idea. I really don't. I think it's actually really good. So what I might do is let's open a couple of these websites that he gave us and we'll have a quick look through them. So volunteermatch.org, looks good, it's visually pleasing to the eye. No volunteer opportunities near me, I'm not too sure if that means there's something wrong with the website or if I'm just in a bad area or if there's something I'm missing. It's a good looking website, not for profit obviously. Uh, idealist.org, jobs, internships, volunteer opportunities, so this is more so on the job website rather than a volunteer connection platform, which is okay. Catch a fire, again, visually pleasing. A few stats, what they do, some organizations they work with. Givepulse.com. Not overly visually pleasing to the eye. Text is quite small. 
lots of information to digest some of the universities and things they work with. So what chat daddy gave us or what chat daddy said somewhere in here, there is still a potential for you to create an application that is different from existing ones by adding unique features and improving the UX. So what he said makes sense. Like all of these are quite visually pleasing to the eye and I haven't signed up for any of these or haven't dove into what they look like once you get past the landing page, but just on first impressions, yes, there there is an opportunity to create something with an improved UX and possibly more features. But yeah, I think Chat Daddy's twisted my arm enough to want to create something like this and, and see if we can meet the challenge of building a volunteer versus organization platform to connect these people and adding features and making the UX and UI visually pleasing and easy to navigate. I think it's a good challenge. Okay, thanks for sticking around today. Um, hopefully it won't be too long until I get the next episode out. Please feel free to leave any comments or suggestions down below. I'll take it on board and it's appreciated. All right, until next time.